How's it going, guys? Ed Clark from RouletteCalculators.com. Uh, we're not doing a, a, a gambling session today. That will be tomorrow. I just thought I'd bring you a bit of news from what's happening in the Netherlands in regards to online gambling. We've got several members on the network who are having difficulty getting into casinos at the moment. So I thought I'd do a bit of research and find out exactly what's going on. So hopefully it will answer a few questions. As it turns out, the international online gambling companies such as Unibet, PokerStars and Bwin have frozen or are freezing the accounts of their Dutch customers from yesterday, which is October 1st, citing changes to the Dutch gambling legislation. Now, hundreds of thousands of people are thought to gamble online from the Netherlands, even though it has technically been illegal up until yesterday. Justice Minister Sander Decker had given the international firms until October 1st to close their services to people in the Netherlands, and he also pledged to take legal action against companies which do not respect the Dutch position from November 1st. Companies which had targeted Dutch customers by using the Dutch payment system, for example, were excluded from the current licensing round, but may be able to apply again next year. Ten companies have already been given licenses to offer online gambling as of yesterday, including two owned by the Dutch state who are among the ten winners of a license to provide online gambling in the Netherlands. The state lottery company and the Holland Casino Group have both been given a license to offer online gambling such as roulette, poker and sports betting. Now, Dutch companies like Fairplay and BetCity also won licenses, along with six foreign firms. Now, four of the foreign firms are based in Malta, one in the United Kingdom and one in Belgium. And as I mentioned, until now, gambling has technically been illegal in the Netherlands and companies which did target uh, Dutch customers were excluded from the new licenses. But as I mentioned, they will be able to apply in the second round next year. In total, 30 companies have applied for the license in a market which is already bringing in an estimated of 500 million euros a year from Dutch customers. In order to qualify for a license, companies must agree to monitor players' behavior and take steps if they feel that people become problematic gamblers. So basically that means that they can ban people from the online casino and their names will be incorporated into a central register. Now, if you ask me, I think that's just another system in place for casinos to have the ability to ban people who are winning consistently. I'd love to know your thoughts on this, so drop your comments below and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another live roulette session. Until then, take care and as always, please bet smart.